Brooklyn Independent Television. While many questions linger about the rebuilding of Haiti, we're ending the show with a look at Mokata's new exhibit, Reimagining Haiti, where 20 artists present their vision for Haiti's future. Melissa Rose Cooper was at the opening reception. Bonsoir. I would like to welcome everyone to uh, Makata, the Museum of Contemporary African Diaspora and Arts. My name is Chantrell P. Lewis. I am the Director of Exhibitions and Programs at the Caribbean Cultural Center, African Diaspora Institute, a sister institution to Makata. And we're very excited to have you all out this evening in celebration of Haitian history, Haitian culture, Haitian people, the survivors of the earthquake. This exhibition, uh, Reimagining Haiti, is a two-part exhibition. The Caribbean Cultural Center and Mokada decided to collaborate on an exhibition, an exhibition marking the year anniversary after the earthquake of Haiti. So we decided to do uh, Le Projet Nouveau at Mokada, which is the new project. So this exhibition in Mokada uh, really features uh, work that touches on the spiritual component, touches on the architectural component, touches on the political component, and then it has an Afro-futuristic uh, component that goes along with the exhibition. So this project really is uh, talking about the new project, Le Projet Nouveau, in terms of reimagining Haiti, in terms of rebuilding Haiti uh, from an aesthetic perspective, from the ground. When I see this, I'm so proud. My name is Loge Joseph. I am the owner and founder of Forgotten Language, and so I represent artists specifically Haitian artists that work with Haitian metalwork. We have about six pieces that are on display and part of the show. They're from an artist called Jacques Wony, and his pieces deal with voodoo, and they deal with uh, life in Haiti. Haitian culture cannot exist without voodoo. Uh, voodoo voodoo means, means spirit. The spirit of the ancestors and, and of what's come before us. It can't be separated, because first we got our independence through voodoo, but through the art, through the music, through, um, through the politics, uh, through, through all of it, the healing, it's all voodoo. And I'm just so happy to be here. This is such an important show, and as they've all stated, it's really important to show our solidarity with people of the African diaspora that look like us all over the world. The piece is, it's a futuristic look at Haiti. Um, 50 years from now, basically. We wanted to create a narrative where Haiti becomes the epicenter of afro diaspora culture in the new world. It's like a wonderful show. One year after the earthquake, artists are given the chance to imagine Haiti, how it should be rebuilt, how it should be uh, politically and socially. I think it's a wonderful thing. I hope that visitors will be inspired by it, and I hope that they'll ask questions about the exhibition. Um, I hope that they will realize that even in art, you can still be active, you can still be socially conscious, you can still be aware. The exhibition is going to be open until May 8th, and people can come Wednesday through Sunday, 11 to 6. Thanks for joining us for this special Brooklyn Review. And please continue to keep the people of Haiti in your thoughts and prayers. And for my Haitian brothers and sisters, Nupap Lagil. See you next time. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org/bit.